Hello, RISD. It's hard to believe that we are over a full month into the new school year, and it's almost starting to feel like fall with weather cooling a bit and all of the traditional extracurricular activities in full swing. This weekend, both Pierce and Lake Highlands High Schools will be celebrating homecoming. I love homecoming. This will be my daughter's last J.J. Pierce homecoming, and for you parents, I know these events are as memorable for you as it is for our kids. Our district family is excited to be a part of the pep rallies, the tailgate to support our 22-23 Teachers of the Year, and ultimately watch the naming of the homecoming court and all of the other special memories that will be made this week. I do hope our kids remember the importance of making good choices so they can continue to enjoy their school year. As you know in RISD, we are all about every child, every teacher, and every leader every day. And I'm excited to share some of the student achievements that have already occurred this year. We have 10, yes, you heard me right, 10 seniors who were recently named National Merit Semifinalists. These RISD students are among fewer than 1% of all seniors across the country who are competing for scholarships worth nearly $28 million. We are so very proud of these students who are being recognized for excelling in the classroom. We also recently hosted our first Lead Well Student Summit that brought together about 100 high schoolers who were already leaders on their campus to give them an opportunity to meet peers from across the district and develop ways to flourish as servant leaders. The goal of our time together is to give more students leadership development opportunities, and I'm really excited to support these student leaders both in and out of the classroom. I want to give a shout out to the Pierce and Richardson Robotics teams who competed in the Fight Like a Girl and the Texas Talon Throwdown earlier this month. The Fight Like a Girl competition focuses on increasing participation of young women in STEM fields. RISD was the only district to field multiple teams with a 100% all-female drive team participation. I continue to be in awe of our students and all that they accomplish. I also want to celebrate our coaches and sponsors who make all of that possible. Our students just completed their beginning of the year measure of academic progress or MAP assessment. MAP is a great way for you to follow your child's growth and a great way for our teachers to differentiate their supports to ensure we are growing every child every day. All students in kindergarten through eighth grade take MAP. Be on the lookout for your score reports and most importantly, reach out to your child's teacher to ask questions about the report and how you can support learning at home. There's a lot of information on MAP on our website, and we encourage you to also use those resources when needed. MAP is one of the only tools available to educators that measures growth. And with our board adopted North Star goal, this is the best way we have to demonstrate to you that we are fulfilling our commitment to grow your student. In late August, we shared the results of our STAR 2.0 that showed RISD students exceeded the annual targeted board goals in the key areas of third grade reading and math, including 11 of 12 annual goals by the demographic group. Check out our board presentation to learn more about these celebrations and help me to celebrate our classroom teachers and principals who stay focused and committed to ensuring growth for all. We use these data points, both MAP and STAR, to develop district and campus improvement plans each year. The RISD board received information about both our annual improvement plans last night and how we have developed them to have a laser focus on our North Star goal. Thank you for sending your kids to school, except when they're sick, of course. Our attendance rates are higher than they were this time last year, and we know the research is clear on the importance of attendance on academic outcomes. Thank you for your support. And finally, Hispanic Heritage Month started this past week and continues through October 15th. We have plenty of activities planned across the district, and I invite you to attend and learn about the rich history and culture of the Hispanic heritage and the diversity that makes Richardson ISD such a special district. Thank you for watching this edition of Keeping Tabs, and remember that I'm always here to serve and support you.